And the idea that people are over there to watch me and to run and support me. That's what I like. And the, that challenge of winning and this, the good feeling that you get out of winning is what motivates me to go and try to do the best all the time. How do you stay so healthy? I mean, knock on wood. I mean, yeah, yeah. You, you have really, I mean, you've had a blessed career because you... And I've been blessed. That's, I think that is, it summarizes. I've been blessed not to have a lot of injuries. Like, you know, like, for example, I, I go back to 2008 when I got the injury for the, injured for the first time in my Achilles. I didn't even know, first of all, what I had. I didn't even know how to deal with it. So for some people who had had these problems, they actually, they can even get out of it faster than I did. I mean, because for me, I was like, this is something new. How am I going to deal with this? And so I had to get opinions from doctors, what can I do? But I've been lucky. And one of the things is listening to your body. I do that. Listen to my body. I rest every Sunday. Sometimes if I need to rest twice a day, I mean, sorry, um, you know, twice a week, I can do that. Because I know I'm not slowing down. I am going to actually start running fast after these two days of rest. And I pick races that are good. I train them smart with the coach. And I, I surround myself with young guys that are always fast, guys that are disciplined, guys that are hard, hard working. Um, and one good example is Abdi Abdurrahman. People always look at a different side of Abdi, like he could be an, a party animal. But I surround myself with Abdi because I know he is a tough guy in terms of running. I just saw him last week. Yes, he is a tough guy, man. Yes. But you know, you don't get that when you see him. When you talk to him, he's like, yeah, man, whatever happens, man. But no, he's always there. And I, I like being with a group like that, you know, and that's the best part. What's a, this is this, this is a star setting field. I mean, everybody looks great. What do you, as a fan, what would you want to watch from, from Korea? You know, I would like to, I would like to work the 50, I would like to work the 5,000 meters. How come? Because 5,000 meters, I think, is going to be one of the best. You know why? Of course, the mile is amazing. But the 5,000, I would like to watch because, you know, we have more. We have Kenemisa. Kenemisa is, and I always say this, and I think people might think I'm crazy, but this guy can do anything. And so he can bounce back from that race. Well, he said, you know, my race hasn't been that great like in the interview today, but I think he's running himself to good shape. And that was an excellent question Tom asked me. I think he's raising himself into shape. And I would like to see the 5,000, how he's going to run against more. We have Augustine Joge, who destroyed everybody in Doha. But then he ran so bad in, 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 in Shanghai because of the weather. And so I am looking forward to watching Rob. And the men 400. And yes. hurdles. I want to see the best. And with the, the 5,000, we watched that. When you watch the other 5,000s, are you thinking strategy or are you just going to watch it as a fan? I'm watching it as a fan, honestly, because I know, you know, Mo is going to run fast the last one mile. You know, Nakanemisa might not feel comfortable to run in the front, uh, especially at the beginning and not even the end. And so they kind of have to. So you kind of know how it's going to go. You know, Augustine is always a front runner. So to me, I don't see any new strategy, but just to watch them enjoy it. You talked about Augustine and, I guess, Shanghai. Yes. He doesn't like the rain. At the Olympic Media Summit, you said you didn't like the rain either. No, man. I don't like Have you thought about that at all? We were, chat- we were chatting with him in my house because he's been in my house for, you know, since Shanghai. And, uh, and Augustine talks about he hates the rain. And I told him, I'm with you. I don't like the rain. And, but when it comes to you have to run in rain, you really have to. You cannot. But, it, but something in you tells you, this is not ideal. I don't like it. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, and so that's one thing that we have to do. So, with him. Have you ever trained with him before over here? Yes. I train, I train with him once in a while in Germany, but all these times in Shanghai, he's been like train, I've been training with him in Tucson, and it's so much fun. Okay, okay, what's the feeling like? Let's say it's 600 meters to go in a race, okay? I, I don't know whether pick your race, whether it's a 15 okay. or a 5 or whatever, and you're on that day. Since you're so eloquent, I want to see if you can put this into words. Okay. You're really on. You're feeling really good. Right. Okay? Pick your race. Whenever your kick starts, you're like, okay, I'm on it right now. I'm on it right now. You're, you're on it. Your yes. Kick is starting. What is the feeling like in your head? Like, you're asking your body to respond. Yes. And you're going, and you're like, I think I'm going to win this damn race, or I, I, I've got it. Or like, you know, what is that feeling like in your head? It feels, it, you know, it's, it's, it's a funny feeling because you, you, you tell yourself, I think I'm going to get this. And I always put the start by saying, I think I can get this. I think I can get this. And by the time I'm telling myself, I, I think I can get this, 
it's funny how my body feels so strong. There's another surge of strength coming in there. And always, always what I have to do is, I just have to wait, just wait. I always tell myself to wait. Even though I'm telling myself, I think I can win this. And you're not sure, but you're telling yourself, I think I have pretty good chance. And you just run in there and you, it's funny how you, your legs feel low, so light at 300 meters to go. But then at the home straight, you're just going all out. But then the opposite happens towards like five meters to go. You just feel heavy, but you're really telling yourself, yeah, you can go, you can win this. It's an amazing feeling. You, you go through... In that 600 meters, you have into you, you go into so many phases. There's one part that you feel like you're so light like a feather, and that is like 300 meters to go. And then at the bend, you always tempted to go fast, but then you just have to hold. But you're still feeling good. And then towards the end, you go all out, and then you're dying towards the end. But it's it's it can happen. A lot of scenarios can happen. And it feels so good sometimes. You know, you just come in there, you're winning it. You get ugly towards the end, like I do. <laughs> Is there, is there pain or only pain in the races you're losing? Or do you block it out? You block it out. Yes. Because, you know, like a high school runner would say, oh, it's painful, but you don't look pain, pain when you're out there. But obviously you must be dealing with yeah, fatigue, yeah, and but you've learned to kind of... You know, like, the exact same thing. You yes. picture Co in 1980 yes, or 84. Yes. It's like, yes. did you feel that? Do you, do you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Even when I feel it all the time, but, you know, just kind of block it, and you just keep going, keep going like this. And, you know, and I, I think more... The 800 meters runners actually feel the pain, but they block it. I've seen in the face of, let's say, David Rodisha, for example, he's going like this towards the end, and then at the end, I'd be like, What did you feel? It's like my head was hurting in reality. His head, after he finished the race, his head was hurting for about 12 hours. Wow. Don't you think it hurts more wow. on a 400 than it does on a 10K or a 5K? Really, I think so. 400? Yeah. The last 100 meters of the 800 is the worst. I think 800 is the worst. 800 now. Yeah, you hurt in the 8 because it's speed all through. And so when they told me, I was like, that's kind of like me, but you know, that's only in the 1500. But in the 5000, it doesn't really, it hurts physically in the 5, but not mentally. But then towards the end, when it's only a kick, you you know you've run all these laps, you know, 11 and a half. All you have to just go this one lap to go, and then you get into that scenario I was telling you earlier. That's you know, you just go all out, and then towards the end, you're dying. But then at the end, you just feel like you, it's, you know, big glory just ran over you. I, I can't remember. Did you say where would you go to the trials again? Are you doing the five and the five. ten? Just only five. five. Yes. Just the five. Just the five. How come? At the trials. Because I just want to concentrate on one event. Putting all these eggs in one basket, man, this time. <laughs> just the five at the trials. Yep. And yes. so, if you're just doing the f- five, I mean, you're running a mile here, and then I think a 1500 next week? Yes. Like, what's your goal for tomorrow? How do you evaluate success? I mean, they're trying to run, I think, 348. You know what? The, exactly. That's a good thing. I don't care. I mean, I don't mind too much when this guy's running 348. I'll be happy if I do my 351 or 352. That, or two. Yes, 351 or 2. That could get me position 8 or 9, but I really don't care about position. But I care about that time that I get. And one of the things that will make me get 351 or 352 is if I run smart. Because these guys are asking like crazy pace. If I go with them, I'm going to run 4 flat. I'm going to run worse than the pin relays. He, on his side, he's, he makes a really good case. Yes. I mean, why are we running a 15 here? I know the mile, 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 but why are we running a 15 here? Why, should... why are we not running a 15? Yeah. Because I think the, the history as well. For, we have the Bauman. For the B one, I think. Yeah. So, the A one, I see him running a mile. For the B race, I think it should be a 15. But... It should be a 15. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, you do it like international, maybe. It's then. an international race. Yes. You should be running a 15. Yes. You know, I, I'm with you in that. And I, I see the reason why it should be 15 and the mile. And, but I love us, the mile too, but, but this international meet. Oh, yes, on, yes. But then, but what I like is the fact that we have the, the you know, Bowerman Mile. It's the name. It's like being running in the in, in the Crystal Palace and you're doing 1500 and they're calling Emsley Car. You know, you can't call him that. So it has to be the Emsley Car Mile. And I, I like to re- respect the tradition. It's been a Bowerman Mile, and I'll go for it. Okay, one other thing, and then I'll yes. be done. Did you, you see Lopez's run at Peyton Jordan? Yes. I watched it. I watched it also. Crazy. Uh, when you saw that and you saw his finishing kick and his speed, did you go, uh, okay, the guy's got it? And not only one person, but actually two people. Yeah. David Torrance. Yes. And Lopez. So I'm not focusing one onto one guy. 
but I know David Torrance and Lopez Lamont are in good shape. Kylian Rob, you can never underestimate him. He's going to do the two, you know the 20 second 10k, and you know he has two days to, re to recover, so he will come back again. And so on the 28th, I might be actually running again. I will be running against the toughest field of David. L I mean uh, uh, Lopez. David, if he's going to run, and I hope David will run because he has a good shot of making the team in the 5K. If I was his from on his camp, I would say David do that right now. Yeah, because the 15 and 5 overlap, right? What's that again? The 15 and 5 overlap. They overlap, and you can't do it. And I would say if I was somebody in David's camp, I'd be like, don't worry about that. Do the five because he has a good shot. Same and thing so, with Lopez? What's that? Would you tell Lopez to do the five too? I would tell Lopez to do the five. But Lopez is strong now that actually he can make the team in the 15 as well. So if he wants to run, if he was to double, he could actually make the team in both. That's how I see it. Because he's stronger. He had a good base in so, winter. He had a good base after, before, you know, even when you look at him, what he's doing, even in Oxymi, running the 800, he has good base. To do those kind of times, He's ready for a good five, 1,500. He's ready for 5,000. He can make the team in both. So, last question for me, I'll leave you alone. Yes. You're going to twilight your career. I mean, maybe. I think you are. Who knows? <laughs> With you, you don't know. How do you want track to remember you? I want track to remember me. And that's an excellent question. That I was a hard worker, an athlete who never believed in any shortcuts. You just work hard. You just do what you're supposed to do. Train hard run with integrity and if I was to be remembered by one thing has to be like that run with integrity I love my sport I respected my sport and I will retire with a, my head held high that I did the best I can naturally and if I was to inspire and I inspired a few kids I receive emails I receive Twitter messages from parents that say my child has started running because of you and my daughter taking running because of you and my son says I want to be like you when I grow up I don't care about anything else. If you can remember me for one thing, he's the man of integrity, and I help a child somewhere to be a runner or to be better in whatever they do. It doesn't have to be running. And that's all I want to be remembered for, that I made a change in somebody's life and that I work hard, there were no shortcuts, and I'm the guy that I will always work that, you know what, even if I was to get the Olympic gold or not, I will feel like my, my, my journey in this small career that we have was a successful and I define a success as somebody that enjoyed, did everything the right way and I motiv motivated others and I gave you know the kids a reason to believe that they can actually be like me and that's what I always want to be remembered. In term can, can, I, can I take you back to the race tomorrow? Sorry guys, but, but um, when we talked the other day, you talked Thank about you. the, the 2,000 meter time trial you did. Thank you. Uh, and Good I told job. you that the 2K try, time trial to make us root for you when you say stuff like You really make us root for you when you say stuff like that. Thank you so much. Yeah, really Thank, really you. Thank you so much. Thank you guys. I, I, the 2K time trial told you that you you're strong. It. Your yes. size is good right now. Yes. Have you been doing much in the way of speed training? In okay. speed training, have you been doing much speed work? Oh, actually not. I haven't done a lot of speed work, but I've been doing a lot of like the hard, I mean the, the, the longer stuff now. I did, you know, the 800s. I did the 400s. Well, 400s were fast enough, but it wasn't like a 300 meters. And I think the slowest I've, I mean, I think the quickest I've done are the, the, the 300s, which I was doing at 40s, and you know, and that's not much. But I've done the time trial, which gave me that confidence that, wow, you know what, any time you do a 2K and a 5 minutes, that to me is, is, is a good indication that, well, the, re, the, the shape is there, and so I'm so happy with that. That time trial, you did it by yourself? I wasn't here for that. Solo. But I got help from my friends. When was it? Oh, just, when was it, JT? Sunday. Sunday. Yeah. What did you do it in? How fast? Or is that secret? What? No, 4.59? I tweeted it. Oh, 4.59. Yeah, 4.59. Sorry, i got to yeah, yeah. start following Maybe you, I guess. Yeah, I think you do. do you think at this point that one of your advantages is that your competitors are saying, you know, Kip really won't have it in the last hundred, and then, you beat, older, and, then you beat, and then you beat them anyway? <laughs> and, you know, and these guys, get, you know, they, they get it by, you know, by uh, even listening to the commentators, too, nowadays. He's old. But then now, I don't know. Um, I don't think I feel that I was old in Albuk Albuquerque. I didn't show that I was getting older in, day in, in Istanbul. But I think those are the things that will make me, you know, want to actually do better now. That I know I can run as fast as these guys, but then that doesn't indicate I'm old or anything like that. Well, I'm old, but well, I still have the speed. So if I'm with Coach Lee and training with the young guys like Boaz and, you know, Lawi and 
all these guys in Tucson. That's all I need now because they make me run fast. You know, trading with boys, he's a faster guy, so I just have to be fast like him. And so I, I think I'm surrounding myself with good people and a smart coach. And so I think as the older man, I'm going to do my best all the time. What makes this Thanks, special for you? Thank you so much. Special because I've been coming here since 2001 and I skipped only one, 2004, to go to Olympic trials in Kenya. That's all. And it's special because of the fans. They know their knowledge. Of, they know the sport. They know everything. Like Tom was saying, they know what it means, for instance, somebody to run 27 minutes for the 10K. That is exactly, it sums down, it sums up exactly what what the experience you get as a runner here. And it goes back when I was in college. I came here to run against the Oregon in the dual meet. We had like, I think a pack 10 or, a, or I don't know what it was, at the Hayward Field. So it's been a long time, Early, late 90s when I was here. And I'm still running in the 2000s. So, thank you. You're talking about inspiring the kids and the integrity. And yes. So the media summit, you know, everyone's talking about drugs and Ramsey and all of that stuff. Do you ever get angry? So then, like, you know, your A test come out and that was leaked out. But I think you had to miss one of the worlds, right? 2003 or five. Does that ever make you angry that you know you, that you had to miss that? I mean, even though your name was cleared. Whereas, like, guys like Ramsey compete for years. And oh, you know what? Though the thing is, you know, you you know, you know, you know, I know myself very well. I am a man of integrity and so whatever happens I had no control over but the thing is what makes me mad is the fact that people actually use drugs in sport that is the, that's, that, that's what pisses me off it's something that you can't help but you know what though I, I, I have I have my, my head straight I know that you know what in order for you to be the best train like the best do like the best no shortcuts and that's what yeah, and, 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 and to me I have to believe something happens for a reason God may Maybe wanted something to happen so something could could be changed. Maybe he wanted to get you in a different direction, but my direction is still the same as what he wanted me to do. I have no idea. Yeah, but have shifted am your I, uh, yeah, am focus I, longer term or something. You, know, you, 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 you focus on good things. Like right now, I'm focusing on good things that have ever happened in my career. And like I was telling you, I am a guy that would work, walk out of this track and field knowing that I did everything the right way. I will not going to be shy. I will be happy to. To, 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 to tell whatever story I need to tell because of the kind of person I am. And so I dwell on the right things, the good things, the, the sweetest things in my life that has come. And so, it, you know, it's, it's frustrating that, you know, people could cheat. Frustrating like hell if you're running as a clean athlete. And so what can we do to combat that? We avail ourselves for track testing. We do whatever we we do to make the, our, our, our sport, the, 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 you know, a clean sport. Do you, do you think it's got and cleaner the sport the clean i mean the, the sport has gotten cleaner and i said that about maybe three years ago it's getting better and better as, as we go forward and what makes me happy is the fact that my sport is actually cleaner than before we used to have you know things that you hear and you know it frustrates you but then now we have we you know, I, I line up with the guys and i know that you know what we are all equal we are all the same we are just going for that victory together as clean athletes. And that's, that, that's what I put in my head. And I've said this, I don't want to put myself into like negativity because negativity doesn't take me anyway. Um, what am I going to gain at the end of the day if I was training so hard and killing myself and then thinking, oh, but you know what, when I go line up there, I'm going to be lining with dirty bastards. No, I'm not going to be doing that all the time. So I have to just be like, you know, you know, just happy with what I've achieved, happy with what, um, you know, my what he's offering at the moment, and that's good. And have you thought beyond London at all? Was that again? Do you ever think about retirement or beyond London? Oh, or Rio is a nice place. I I'm mean, about Rio. How old will you be then? As a fan. <laughs> fan? No, you gotta. No, not right now. Two th sixteen. No, I will be thirteen. Do you think maybe will be it or? Twenty thirteen. Yes, but that is my focus. That'll be it. London. That will be, uh, I wouldn't call it it, but that would be like you know, twenty thirteen is my track season. That is like I would be happy to say, hey. So long, everybody. I'm, I've had a great career. I'm, I'm loving it. And then go into something else that might be helping the kids and stuff like that in this country and in Africa. And I think that would be my calling. I feel that is something I would like to step into. But if you're the Olympic gold medalist, everyone's going to want you to keep racing. 
No, but then I would be respectfully say, you know what, it's good to end at the highest. You know, El Geruj ended at a high level, and some of them have done the same, and I think that would be something would be good. I'll be remembered better than just sticking in there and running like, you know, just running so bad and being a disgrace to my own self, and I don't want to do that. All right, thank you. Thank